Great, let's look at how we can install Python. And I'm going to create a, I'm going to open a browser and let's try to see how we can install Python. Uh, installing is simple. I go to python.org and when I'm on that website, uh, there is a click an option for downloads. Uh, so depending upon your operating system, you will see uh, either you can download for Mac or whatever version you're using or you can view a full list of downloads. When you click on it, um, uh, it'll start downloading. I'm gonna cancel it. I already have Python installed it. And you just have to click on it and go through the process of clicking next, next, and it will install Python. And after you have installed Python, uh, open your terminal or your command prompt or PowerShell on your uh, Windows machine or a terminal on your Linux or Mac and do a Python hyphen hyphen version and you will see whatever version I'm using as Python. So it doesn't matter if your version is uh, different, but as long as it is 3.6, uh, we should be good to go with the course. I'm on a, a different version, uh, but 3.6 is the major version that we want to be on. And after we have installed Python, uh, we need to install something called as uh, Jupyter Notebook, uh, which we will be heavily using uh, as our online IDE. Uh, which online IDE is a browser where we will be able to have interfaces like this where we can type our code and keep uh, all that we typed. You know, this is an example of a Jupyter Notebook. Um, it has, I can write my code and execute and see the output right then and there, like here. Uh, unlike running it on a terminal here, which I will also cover uh, in the course. I hope you were able to install Python. now. Open Jupyter.org and then click on Install. Once you click on Install, it says uh, prerequisite is Python, which we already have installed. And make sure you have installed Python 3.3 or greater. And then we strongly ins recommend installing Python using the Anaconda distribution. So we can also do that, uh, but um, if you've already installed Python, uh, already you've been working on Python, I'd still insist that you go ahead, click on Anaconda distribution on a new tab, and that will open something like this. And then you can download uh, the 3.6 version. And uh, it's a graphical installer. You can install it uh, by clicking on Next. There's also a Windows version, and there's also a Linux version. You can install based on whatever operating system you're, you're using. I'm not going to go over it because uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, at this stage, uh, you should be able to install this file, click on Download, uh, click on that file, go uh, by clicking on next and install and continue as, as it, it gives you an option. And after you've done that, uh, you should be able to open your command prompt and you should be able to um, run simple like this by typing Jupyter Notebook. Now, if you are using a Mac PC or a um, Linux, then you can install Jupyter using pip instead of Anaconda. Uh, this is how you install it. These are the commands. Uh, please try this out. And if you already have Python 2 and you want to upgrade to Python 3, you install it like this. Now, after you've done this, uh, you can come back to your terminal prompt. Um, I have something running, and uh, let me stop that. And then once you come back to your terminal or your PowerShell or command prompt, make sure if you're on Windows, you're running it uh, as run as administrator and you just have to type the word Jupyter and type the word notebook. When you do that, it starts open a Jupyter notebook and I'm gonna create a new file. So this, this opens up in the same directory where you ran the Jupyter notebook command. So I was in a training directory and inside that I have created this Jupyter file. And once you've done that, click on new. Uh, there are other options that you can use. You can start a new terminal, you can create a new folder, uh, you can also write text files, but I think we will be working on Python 3, so I click on Python 3. So this is my Python uh, terminal, and uh, I have so many options like this here, uh, which we will cover in the next class. But for now, I hope you were able to install Anaconda, Jupyter, and Python, and you get this uh, version when you say uh, Python hyphen hyphen version. It could be Python single hyphen version or single hyphen V uh, in Windows. Uh, you can also right click and uh, on your Python icon on your desktop and see the properties. 
Now, there's also one more thing you can do uh, is click on Python and activate the shell just to make sure it's working fine. And then type print um, and say hello world and close this. And when you run it, it should print hello world. Just make sure that this helps us make sure that you have Python running on your PC. Great. I hope you got this. And um, let's get started with some hands-on coding on Python. See you in the next class.